finally going to this store, Board Shops of America. This is a place that Ricky has been telling me we need to go to for a very long time because they have some items that he specifically wants. What? Where are we going, dog? Um, to a place that has skateboarding stuff and video games. I can't believe it's finally happening. We got Complex coming, Gerard and the Puerto Rican guy. <laughs> well, we're gonna go buy some games. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna make it work. But the reason I'm intrigued to go is they sell skateboards and video games. It's like two of my loves. God, I wanna salute to that store. <laughs> he has a problem. He needs help. There's some folks in the parking lot. Oh, it's, a, it's bad, you guys. It's really Here bad. They are. These are real, yeah, real gangsters. What are we gonna do? We just keep going. What do we do? <laughs> this guy is beautiful. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow, that was moist. Uh, I don't know if I ever told you I love Iron Maiden. Well, I'm buying that thing for the skateboards, but I need that for my wall. I never been a skater. So I buy Iron Maiden grip tape. Oh, Iron Maiden. Not as good as Walking Dead, but I love Maiden. The first time I step in the skate, I almost broke my ankle. Whatever. You know how I say. Is what it is. Oh, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I always watch you guys. Shoot. I enjoy it. Shoot. You know, I have hard days at work. And when I watch it, I forget about stuff. Right away, Coco, one of the guys who works in the store, an awesome guy who watches the show. Nice. That's how I say. Starts like going around and giving gifts to everybody. Uh, you like Iron Maiden. Oh, I, I, I love Maiden. Can I have this for you? Oh my god! I mean, I love Iron Maiden. Led Zeppelin is my favorite. But if it's something I had, and I was like, well, oh, dude, you probably enjoy it more than me. That's like kind of like a way you welcome someone into your home. You know, it's like when someone owns a home and they're like, you want some coffee? You want some cookies? And you're okay, I, I can sing all the songs you know what that here is, if you that's want. No! That's their interpretation of doing it, giving out little gifts of things we like too. Oh wow! Oh, I love Mega Man. So it definitely stamps the approval that they actually do watch our show. Oh, thank you. How much is he? How much is Coco? Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Ricky's saying that he's gonna buy something real big. You know Ricky, so it's like, eh, it's a secret, I cannot tell you. So I'm dying to see what he's gonna buy. Ricky, yeah, come on. So the reason we're here is because I've been checking out, dude, he's got these amazing signs, like Nintendo, World of, World of Nintendo signs that I've been wanting. So I'm getting something that I've been, I've been coming to this place for quite a bit. Not like I don't come here every day, because it's, by my dad's house. But there's one in the background that I've really, really had my eye on that I, I just don't see it anywhere. So I'm like, bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him about that sign. I asked him about this sign, I think about two years ago, <laughs> something like that. But I always see this cool, awesome Sega sign. I keep asking him every year I've been going to the store because it's, it's right next to my pop's house, so I just, you know, I always head over there. He's been telling me about this sign for like a few years now. He's like, there's a sign there. I really want to get it. I really want to get it. But he's never gotten it because it's sign signs are expensive nowadays. Bro, I need to get a sign for the Sega boys. This Sega sign is awesome. It's amazing. He's bringing down the sign. It looks amazing. I just, I can't wait to get my hands on it. He's bringing it down. I'm like, D -d -d. it almost looks like he's going to drop it. Truth be told, I was a little scared because he was doing it by himself. You just have to imagine the new Sonic. Engine. Just Here's imagine. Thing with, a thing with signs too. It's like, let's say old vintage, you know, SRAM or the, I don't know, porcelain ones. Stuff that's plastic, that's not damaged, they hold more value because they get so ruined. So if you have one that's 
You know what I mean? If it's yeah. decent. Oh man, I wasn't ready for this. I knew it was a sign. I even saw a picture of it on Ricky's phone. But when I saw this sign and they showed us and Coco took this sign down and brought it down, it was deep, the depth, the, the bezels, they were embossed. There was a lot of uh, fluidity to the sign. It oh. lit up. Oh. Oh. It lights up. I honestly can't like take my eyes off of this thing. This thing's amazing. And for a killer price, dude. No. No. This thing's gonna be amazing in my games rooms. You work here, but do you approve of this purchase that well, Ricky's seriously, gonna be Seriously, in my opinion, because I love promo stuff, and oh. in other worlds too, because I collect Led Zeppelin stuff. Ooh. Um, Complex in. To me, 250 is a good deal. I think it's a $500 sign in my world. It's one of those signs that you don't see, and the reason you don't see it, it was, it was not made for retail, for customers. It was just made and given to like stores and people who ran different things in the industry, video game related. Those are the people who got that sign. So where'd you get this sign from? I bought it from Sega. <laughs> it was 90, 91, something like that when Sega Genesis first came out. Nice. And let me tell you how hard it is to buy from Sega or Nintendo if you're just a small owner. They don't care. And I got lucky. This is like one of the coolest things I have in my game room now. It's probably... I think it is. I actually bought two of them, but one uh, somebody just kind of broke. The coolest thing in your game room? I don't know. What about when I go in your game room? It kind of downgrades it a little. I feel like a chili dog now. Dude, I feel good. I've been after this thing for a long time. How you feel hey, now? Ow. Now I don't. I still feel good. Wee. I still feel really good. Wee. Wee. I love this. Oh, you love this? No, not this. <laughs> not this. You know why I said that? Yeah. Why? Sonic, uh, the cartoon. Oh no, just because I want a chili dog. Oh. So I guess he's not more. He's not any more a secret, right? What is? He was so <laughs> mad because I wouldn't tell what it was. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I ever told you, I'm trying to be like the brown Indiana Jones of video game collecting. And I'm looking for rare stuff. Yeah. I set the store and I see this the club with the power and I decide yes, I know to buy it. That's gonna look good in my games. Wrong. And you know what? I was going to make a lot of means with this and like that because Rifo tell me to do it. I feel like Leona from Thundercats. Look at this. Now I have the power. The power glove was made in Puerto Rico in 2020. Why are your hands so warm? Because I'm a hot guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's another t-shirt. I like the power glove because it's powerful. This is extra large for big hands like me. Oh man. Like this. It's so bad. I don't know if I ever told you I like a power glove. Like this is just a novelty item. You know, there's not even that many games that use it. A lot of people don't really it, like it's it's much easier to make fun of it than it is to actually practically use it. Or Gabo. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> One thing that's fun about having Gerard around is he always puts money into practice when we're game hunting. Not that that has to be done, but he's not really afraid to throw down some cold hard cash. And he's like, I've been looking kind of for a virtual boy, but Gerard is definitely, he's a completionist with video games and playing games. He's also a completionist with video games physical, in the physical form. Nice! Yes, we got one! Yeah. There you go. We got one from Gerard. <laughs> Welcome to the squad! Yeah. And he sees a beautiful virtual boy in the store. And when I say a beautiful virtual boy, I mean really beautiful. Uh, I just bought a beautiful mint virtual boy in box. This thing is not only complete in box, it still has like the stickers on the front that were like never torn off, that has like information on it. And when he opens it, also the virtual boy has all the plastic casings. Every single thing is in there. Beautiful, mint, crisp, clean. It's like it's been sitting on the shelf. It's like very, very new. <laughs> That's probably it, one of the mintiest. Yeah, it belongs in the museum. 
That's ah. that's how good it is. I don't know if Gerard's actually gonna play it. Maybe he'll do like a virtual boy completionist episode thing. I'm still waiting to be on his show. He's told me like 20 times I'll be on his show. Still yet to be on your show, Gerard. Sorry, Ricky. Bye. Whatever. So at the game store, I found myself where I always find myself. Kneeling down, looking at the games through the glass, drooling like some sort of weird freak. It wouldn't be NES Pursuit if I wasn't crouching on the ground. And there are the Super Nintendo games. And I'm looking through, trying to read the labels. You know, Super Nintendo labels are kind of hard to distinguish because they're all black with either that green or white text on them. So it's hard to find things, but there, I see it. Okay, so I'm gonna get Blackthorn. This game, first of all, that cover art, I don't know if you know this, it was drawn by Jim Lee from DC Comics, which is kind of a weird little cool thing. One of the games on the short list, the games that I'm really looking for was Blackthorn. And there was Blackthorn. And man, it was like a beautiful copy of the game. Blackthorn is very unique. The graphical style, because it uses the rotoscoping type style, it looks very realistic. The motions are very realistic. It's the same thing you see in games like Flashback. The graphics in this are cool. They do the rotoscoping, kind of like Prince of Persia and like a lot of those games from that time period, so it looks very realistic. It's just super different in its just visual presentation, but also in the way you can control it. You shoot behind you, you shoot in front of you as you move. It's very different, but it's also very cool. But I like that he can shoot forward and back where he has sort of like a, a strength and power behind him the way he does. Is that Blackthorn? Yeah, Blackthorn. Yeah, Good yeah. Good game, right? Real fun. I love it. And the completionist even approved. The completionist approved. That belongs in a game room. I don't know if I ever told you I love stickers on the games. You know how I say, it is what it is. It is what it is, noise! For me, at this store in particular, although I love video games, as you guys know, I had my eyes set on skateboards. I've been skateboarding a lot, my kids in skate camps. This is like, kind of like taking over a big part of my life again in my life. So I'm, I'm just buying skateboard stuff. My son and his friends and everybody, I'm literally buying decks for a whole group of people. I pick up some skateboards for my buddy's kids. They're all skating and they want decks. But they had these decks called Magic Skateboards, which is basically another version of Vision, which Vision was super popular, the Psycho Stick in the 80s and 90s and was a really big part of skateboarding. Uh, if you don't know, one of my biggest passions in the world is skateboard and video games, so this place is both. Well, the, literally the sensor won't stop going off. They're making some great skateboards for really cheap. And then even as I was leaving, Jim, one of the other guys who works at the store who has an amazing mustache, by the way, gives me some bearings saying they are compliments for free of Vision skateboards. They're gonna give me one. That is so nice of them. Thank you. Oh my God, Sufkin. Sufkin. You guys, the store was nothing but nice to us. We love when people treat us this way. That's how everyone should treat each other. Just love each other. You love me. I love you. You love me. Yay! I go to Sam's. I'm illegal. All right, we're gonna start driving out. I'm gonna go head over to good old Sam's to pick up this sweet arcade. The time has come for me to pick up my showcase cabinet, my Street Fighter Third Strike arcade cabinet that I got from Gerard that I dropped off to be restored in a recent expansion pack video. So we're heading to Sam's to pick this thing up. I'm so excited to see what Sam has done with it. He's been kind of sending me videos here and there through WhatsApp, but you know, it's vertically shot. It's not clean, it's ni not nice. He's not trying to make it look beautiful. Get, there's a fly. Noise. I'm Literally, literally super excited. So we're finally here. The time has come to pick up Riff's Arcade. It's somewhere behind this door number one. It's a lot further along than you guys even know. My arcade that I'm building in my backyard, which is right behind me. No, don't show him, Ricky. The world of Riff's Arcade is blossoming and you're all invited to come over. Nobody's invited to come over. We're here, we're at Sam's. I stand in front of his garage. I'm like, okay, this is it. I wanna do like house hunters, like, move that 
that sign or move that bus or whatever it is. I feel like this is that one show. What's that show the, about the house? Oh, the open the house door? All right. I have to be unveiled to me. So the garage door lifts up. Oh my gosh, it's literally, it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Holy crap, <laughs> it's gorgeous. Go. Oh, look at the colors on this. Oh my, oh, you even made this nice and fresh black too. The color on this thing is a bright, bold orange. It looks like it just sticks out like no other. The green trim is super retro colored. This was, so this color scheme was Sam's idea in the beginning. He sent me a couple pictures of some Donkey Kong cabs that had this color scheme. Mm -hmm. We redid the graphics on the control panel. Street Fighter Third Strike style. It is huge. Sam basically did more than we were planning on him doing for sure. We weren't planning on doing this much. Um, the lights have been replaced with LED buttons. Yes, we left the Wicko 360 sticks. So me and you kind of like designed the, well, we kind of came up with the concept for the control panel art. We kind of went over a few pictures. We added the third strike to it. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Sam and um, I'm the owner of Addictive Arcades. That's my business. Been doing it for about four years. Uh, I've been making arcades. I restore them. I soup them up. We decided to go with LED buttons. Yeah, LED buttons. So these buttons do light yeah, up. Yeah, they do light up. And then uh, we actually put um, yellow buttons with red lights in them. So they actually light up orange. So when it's lit up, it's going to kind of match the cab with the trim. He also put lights underneath the control panel. He trimmed the back of it so it fit better in my house. There's bezels around it with designs with the Capcom System 3. The, be the, the, yeah, the bezel art around here. Yeah, the art around here. The bezel. Um, we, I designed this. Well, we designed this one first. And so we got to put something on top, so we did that one next. The retro pie is in there. So um, emulation, um, a lot of people have different takes on emulation. First of all, this image, I didn't create it. I got to give credit to this guy named Wolfenos. Um, anybody can do it. You can look it up online. You could, you could look up different websites and even YouTube and learn how to do retro pie and create your own image and build an arcade machine. And oh, he put in a new 32 inch monitor which fit like a glove yeah like it, like, it literally barely fit like i thought uh, when we got when i got it i thought it was gonna fit put it in it didn't fit i had to decase it once i decased it it fit like one thing about emulation some people talk down on it i think for the most part some people don't have all the room to have an arcade in their house some people have the great big rooms and some people don't and if you're going to be able to have one machine that plays everything that's great it's like a classic car some people have a classic car and they fix them up original and then some people you know they want to go overboard they want to change the interior they want to put a bigger engine in it and that's kind of like what we do with arcades also everybody yeah. thank sam yeah. uh, by following him on instagram uh, addictive arcades yes. addictivearcades.com if you also is my website yeah. if he gets to 5,000 followers he's going to build every one of you an arcade no i'm just kidding <laughs> i don't like to use classic arcade machines or dedicated arcade machines. I like to use dynamo cabinets. This is a showcase dynamo cabinet. Um, and those are basically cabinets that are generic and they were put, um, you can put anything in them. That's what it was for, for the operator to put any game he wanted into. And that's m main, the main, main, main cabinets I use for this. So no cabinets were destroyed <laughs> while doing this. Man, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time at your house. When I see this thing, it's seriously insane. The color is beautiful. The paint immaculate. These lights are nice. It's seriously the best Street Fighter arcade because that space you get between players is awesome. Oh. <laughs> I won! <laughs> I won that round! And that's saying a lot because we played it on the one up and dang, we were like elbowing each other. Oh, what a oh, oh my god, no! That's okay. I wasn't even trying. <laughs> but this thing, again, the sounds are going off. It just feels so good. Again, the control panel is so huge. Everything on this is like a literal dream come true machine for me. It's everything I've ever wanted in an arcade. It's everything I hoped that I would get in an arcade. And I left your Trump sticker on there. Nice. <laughs> nice, Ricky. Ricky's so happy. But he, he does it right. And, that's, and he cares about arcades. He cares. He's like the Ricky of retro gaming. See, me, I just pretend to like games for views. I don't know if I ever told you I like Street Fighter. Prove you're Mexican. Oh, he made it! Go! Go Lazo! <laughs> He's trying to get his green card. Sam has a sweet marquee for me. 
gives me this sick Street Fighter Championship Edition marquee. Boom! I don't have this marquee, and it's gonna go beautiful with the rest of my aunt marquees. Street Fighter, the Championship Edition. I was blown away. Dude, that's the one I played when I was a kid. I love that version. I love this man right here. And, dude, also a plus, he gave Riff these sweet, I think he had, he had the whole complete die cast collection of these little like one inch Street Fighter characters. It's these Street Fighter little collectible figures that I've seen. I know that Target had these, but he gave me the whole collection. Look inside here, Ricky. Ricky, come closer. It's, they're all in here. They're sick. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty jealous. I was like, that's pretty nice. So, this is Oh, pásale, pásale, pásale. Oh, bien, bien. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, uh, no bueno. Es lo que es. <laughs> Wait, what do you think about Ricky, though? What's your real thoughts on him, bro? You think I should get him deported? Well, I'll go with him. I'll go with him. Camera hug? <laughs> Camera hug. Oh, thank Tell you. Tell me, ho, Sam. <laughs> thank you for making my dreams possible. We love you. But now we're driving this thing home to my casa. Mi casa. When we get to my house, we're pulling in. We got to kind of back it up, back it in, let it begin. Is that how it goes? I don't know if that's how it goes. On today's MTV Cribs. Yo, this is my house. What up? I got TV 4K. I got this old heater right here. I got this fan with them bells. Yeah! But we're at my house. We bring it into my son's room. This is kind of like the holding place. My poor kid, or actually not poor kid, he's loving it. His room is just filled with random arcades, uh, arcade one-ups. So let's uh, put it in here. Put the new one here for now. Move these, you're just gonna have to sit over there. We get it set up in a spot that fits. It doesn't fit the best, but it, it works in the meantime until the arcade is set up. And mind the messes. There is messes everywhere. Arcades just literally lying everywhere. Our backyard's a mess, the room's a mess. We have to wait like a week and a half till, the sh till the, our new arcade's gonna be finished. The arcade slash game room. And they're all gonna be in there for a while. None of them are in there anymore. I can't keep a straight face with this. So that's it. Woo! They're all in there and my arcade and game room is pretty much, I'd say, 80% done. But you'll have to wait for another video for that one. Or, where can you go in right now? Do I just show a little Ricky? No, Ricky's out. That's it. No! <laughs> the best pickup of the day was either the Street Fighter cab or Probably Ricky sign. Nice. Oh my God, soft oh, game, soft? soft game. In my games room. Also, Sam has said he has a friend who's just like Gabo. We didn't know there could be another Gabo in the world. Do you know Gabo told me that he's more legal than me? I don't even know what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Bye. If it's free, it's for me. We don't know where Ricky is. I think he's more legal than all of us. Yeah. Wait. This fly won't go away. Nice. Which I mean, that's got to count for something, doesn't it? I'm getting too old for this. Now, yeah. now you want, now you want me to do that <laughs> thing, huh? Oh, oh god! <laughs> I'm not gonna deport you, bro. All right, I'm not gonna turn you in. All right. It's not my fault you didn't get it. Don't, don't get the camera. I always say I'm illegal. Whatever. <laughs> I'm so. Oh wait, I'm really tired. <laughs> Official single. Whoa. Uh oh. Now I'm more of a Nintendo guy. We love you, dude. Billy is a Demogorgon. Billy is a Demogorgon. Ricky wouldn't, Ricky wouldn't say what he was actually getting. So when Ricky pulled up, his son was in the car, and Gabo's just like, well, what's he getting? He doesn't look like the son. He looks like the father over there to me. Hey, nice. Yeah. <laughs> He's very. <laughs> so it's a rare one. Hey. Okay. This is for big hands. I don't even know why I'm going into this story. 
I apologize. I no, you need to be stupid. I'll show you a lethal weapon, Ricky, right now. Spice it.